Mike Kern here with Adam Emenecker for another shoot around segment. Uh, a big week, big weekend, Adam, uh, with uh, the top four teams playing one another and the teams that lost the first matchup, avenging their losses on the road. And talk about uh, those matchups and the big weekend we had. Yeah, here we are mid February already. I mean, it's crazy how, how quick the league gets to this point. And now we have. You mentioned it, four top teams in the league, all, all pretty much in the same position, two teams avenging their losses. So the first one, Northern Iowa escaping in Des Moines with that overtime win at Drake. And the most impressive part to me, honestly, was they got a pedestrian game from A.J. Green, only seven points, one and nine field goals. But the formula for Northern Iowa to win that game and to win moving forward is to have the other guys chip in. I thought Trey Burhau was really good. He finished with 16 and Noah Carter is just the consummate X factor for that group. 23 points for him can really be a night uh, matchup nightmare for his ability to play inside out. But the guy I really thought played well and was the key to that group, Taiwan Pickford. That's the best he's played all year. Eight points, 12 rebounds. And I thought his athleticism defensively caused havoc for Drake's offense. For that Northern Iowa group, toughness, timely stops, and balance. That is their formula to continue to win. And they have as, as good of a chance for anybody as anybody now coming down the home stretch. And, and we can talk about that in a minute because their schedule's tough. But what you mentioned, Mike, going back to the other game, Loyola doing what Loyola does. I mean, no surprise for them to come back and win the game, even in Springfield against Missouri State. Last time it was Isaiah Mosley, 40 points. This time it was Gage Prem, 21 and 10. And you saw the concerted effort, both by Lucas Williamson staying on the court, staying out of foul trouble, and Coach Drew Valentine not allowing Isaiah Mosley to go crazy. Really good defense from the Ramblers, which we expect to see. Even mixed in a few zone possessions, too, which is unique for them. But offensively, Williamson, 19, showing off his full range. He just looks so comfortable in that uniform. Man, he's a tough guy to stop down the stretch. So you mentioned some outstanding performances from Saturday and Sunday. One of the guys you didn't mention at 31, talk a little bit about Lance Jones of Southern Illinois. Yeah, I mean, we we had, we discussed how SIU needs to keep pace, staying out of that 7 through 10, staying out of Thursday. And Lance Jones really took it upon himself. 31 points, five of six threes. When he's playing downhill and knocking down the three ball, one of the most difficult guys to stop in the league and, and just plays with a reckless abandon that I love to watch. Marcus Domas chipped in his usual 18.6 rebounds, five assists as well, continuing to do everything he can to help his team win. That SIU bunch not deserved to be in that top four yet, but man, they have the talent and can really play on both ends. And in the top top four, and, and, and perhaps even Bradley or Southern Illinois right now, could win a game in the NCAA tournament. We have several teams that could do that, and they could win the conference tournament, they could win the conference title, but top four are in position to do that. Uh, your thoughts on the home stretch for those those teams in contention? Yeah, so you look at the schedules, right? And, and, and Northern Iowa, two against Loyola. So those two have to play each other twice. And Northern Iowa hosts Missouri State. I think the toughest schedule left in the league for the Panthers up at the top. Loyola, of course, two against Northern Iowa, as I just mentioned, but also has to play, has to host Drake. That'll be a challenge. Missouri State, the most favorable schedule. They go to Drake on Wednesday. They play at UNI. But I think they have a good shot for the Bears to keep themselves at the top of the league. Ultimately, Mike, the thing I'm most excited about, you mentioned it. Any of those four can win the conference title. They could win the conference tournament and go to the NCAA tournament. And I think any of those four can win a game in March based on the way they're playing today. It's going to be an exciting finish down the stretch. Well, we have reached February. The tournament is less than a month away. We start Thursday, March the 3rd, conclude exactly one month from today on March the 6th. It's going to be exciting in St. Louis at the Enterprise Center. Always is. All right. Thanks, everybody, for joining us again. We'll, we'll talk to you next week.